Does this mean that, will you still give me a thumbs up or I don't even need it? You're live right now. Oh, so I don't even need it because <laughs> I have music instead, which is like a, yeah, the audio version of a thumbs up straight into my ears. Been a little while since we were here. I don't know. I guess the weekend happened. We did one on Friday. Oh, did we? Okay, never mind. It was like the quickest Lou later. Oh, was it? Yeah. Bit Talking of a... about buttholes and stuff. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do actually recall a little bit of that. A little bit of that action. I don't know if there's going to be any of that on this episode. Because I have no idea what Willie Dude decided to select as the most important stories of today. But it looked like it looking like he's got a couple of tabs going on, a couple yeah. of things to chat about. Uh, he wants to kick it off here. Apple contractor says her day in the life TikTok video did not affect her status with Apple. Is this one of those day in the life videos, Will, where it's like, look how look how awesome my life is? Um, it was a little bit more subdued. Oh, it's not outrageous. Okay. And it's usually, it, it started off with her morning, really. But it wasn't a bad look, though. It was a good look. It was good, yeah. No problems. It was uh, it was a type of life somebody might might want. Yeah. Okay, here we yeah. go. Oh, we're going to watch it. Day in the life. I headed back to the office so today. I woke up oh. at 5 a.m. Honestly, oh. I was very excited. We're in the bathroom here, Well, Excited oh. energy. Washed my face, got in the shower. We're, the we're in the shower. We're in the... It was mainly for her to get ready. Yeah, okay. Um, whoa, 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 Will. Here's me taking she eats seeds, breakfast. Biotics, we were in the and closet. Yeah, the packing lunch. Yummy kale salad that I made along with cardigan. What you'll see though is that you'll see part of um, Apple's campus, which I feel like they might not be cool about. Off limits, maybe. Set up my desk and of course put on my flats. That's a hot girl tip of the day. We had a new hire, so we walked her around. Apple set up his cute pastry bar. Here's my obligatory mirror of it of the day. I actually did get some work done. And for lunch, the whole team headed out to a different Apple building, which was super cool. Um, we got some lunch, really beautiful views there. Headed back to the office. I finished up my day working on the rooftop. The okay. Huh, no problem. I, 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 uh, I mean, I know that this is a whole thing, right? It's a trend or whatever. Uh-huh. Can you do one of these, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You don't, no one wants to see that. So, just start my day here. Um, I'm in my underwear. Just me and Otis just making a coffee. Yeah. You know, people pay big money for that, you know? That's what people want to see, really. That's where the big money is? That's where the big money is, Well, We're missing out on a huge opportunity here. We need to see a day in the life of Willie Do. Anyway, no. Um, this is definitely subdued. It was mostly the, the morning routine in the apartment. It wasn't... Really? Yeah. Like, there was a little piece at the end of the Apple campus, but it wasn't much. Uh, but I, I assume people got, got nervous about it because maybe there are rules around that. I don't know. Uh -huh. An Apple contractor reportedly found her contract unexpectedly not renewed after a day in the life video went viral. Uh, however, Boone told the Verge that she was only trying to show other women of color that this kind of career could be an option for them and thus helping Apple achieve a more representative workforce. The tech girly genre of content can serve a purpose, especially for women, people of color, other traditionally underrepresented groups in the industry who hope to land a job. Uh, is this a statement? This is a statement from her. My followers or people that would reach out to me or comment were like 80% black women. That was important to me to be able to connect with other black women as well as encourage them. You can work in this industry. Okay. So then it gets 150,000 views. And then because she was on contract, the contract is not renewed, which by the way, doesn't necessarily mean they had an issue with the, the post. It could just be that it was meant to be a temporary con. I don't know. That's okay. We have an update. Yeah. Also from Boone herself stated that there was no connection between the video and her contract not being renewed. She said that she worked the entirety of her contract period and remains thankful for career opportunities and growth from working at Apple and how that helped pave the way for the wonderful job I have today. So, oh, who, would, who could ever know why Apple chooses to either renew or not renew a contract? But we do have this kind of impression of Apple that they're sort of a private group private company mm -hmm. private in the sense of like 
I, 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 I don't know. Like, it's like a fortress over there. The way the thing is set up. You wonder what they would want you sharing and not sharing. You wonder yeah. if... Uh, Definitely not the day in the life in Apple headquarters. I mean, there's some things that are secretive. And famously, the guy got fired when the he was seen in public. He, he was using the phone that wasn't out yet. Yeah. Um... Because there, there could be things that's just lying on the table or something that is unexpectedly caught. You're talking about secrets. Yeah. Trade Proto secrets. Prototypes, concepts on yeah. the walls. Well, this is going to be increasingly an issue just in general as people, user-generated content, everybody's posting everything. And yeah. these companies have tens of thousands of employees and stuff's going to happen. However, in this case, we don't have any evidence that that's the reason that the contract wasn't renewed. So it's not much we can say about it other than I guess we could talk about how we feel about the day in the life video or the genre in general. Mm -hmm. um, which I think there's a way you can do it. And there's a there's a way that like we've talked about other ones that seem so outlandish or they kind of uh, accentuate the non work elements of work as opposed to the right. work elements of work. Which makes sense because, like, work itself, what are you really showing? I just think uh, it's a tough, it's a tough one to to navigate in how in how you're going to present that from the employee, and also just like the employer employee relationship, and is everything getting cleared in advance? Are people like, did those people in the video say they want to be in the video? Uh. You wonder about these things. I'm not saying that they didn't say they want to be in the video. They very well might have. But these are all things that I wonder. And in an environment where we're constantly shooting videos, for example, like around here, if you just don't want to be in video, you just go, nah, no. Right? Like, because it's a constant conversation. Mm. But in other corporate environments, I think it's less obvious mm -hmm. what, it, what you can and can't video and where is off limits and so forth and, and all the rest of it. So it's going to remain sensitive for sure but apple's just happy to have people back in the building as well yeah i think so they they you know they've been clamoring for that they say come back here at least two days a week or something we have free croissants yeah maybe they need the marketing maybe the, they need more croissants on tiktok throw a few apple croissants on tiktok and all of a sudden everybody comes back to the to the workplace yeah that might draw more attention to people who wanting to work at apple don't you think like seeing how things are done. Yeah, but now they think they're going to get terminated when they put I, the TikTok yeah. out there. Yeah. yeah. It's a double-edged sword. No, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We don't know enough. We don't know enough. No. Apple reportedly working on iPad docking accessories set for 2023. I was reading actually this morning huh? about uh, those iPads being out of stock, the uh, iPad Pros. Okay. And that's usually an indicator that you're going to get the M2. You're going to get a new one coming when yeah. they stop restocking the old one. Apparently in a couple of days, right? Apparently in a couple of days. Um, anyway, so uh, I, could ima I can imagine if uh, you're going to do that. Like, But did they give any indication of when this accessory will come? Oh, 2023. Hmm. Well, we saw it with the Pixel when they, when they talked about the Pixel tablet. Yeah. And probably the dock was more exciting than the actual tablet. Um, because we've seen so many tablets over the years, and they're kind of, on their own, not all that interesting. It's a slab. It's You have your browser. You, know, you got what you got. Uh -huh. However, this dock that, that Google put out made it seem like this is going to find a nice little home in the kitchen, and you start to imagine the ways that you could utilize it a little bit more as opposed to just being a tablet in a drawer somewhere that hasn't been charged in six months, which I have many of those. Uh-huh. Maybe if it had a home, it would get more use. It would be like uh, their home devices, like uh, that's assistant enabled. But that's and the thing. It has a speaker you, and everything. You figure out that like one of the biggest issues is just the thing having a place to go. Mm-hmm. So that you know where it is because you're not really using it nearly as frequently as you are your phone, which is always on you and fits in your pocket. And having it consistently charged. Always charged and ready to go and having a nice speaker on it when you're... Anyway. So we talked about it during their event when Google did their thing and, and, and I guess Apple can 
follow suit now based on this report. Bloomberg journalist Mark Gurman reported Saturday new iPad models coming this month. In addition to a new generation, the MacBook Pro expected to be introduced later this year. Also revealed plan Apple's plans to launch a new iPad docking accessory in, in 2023. The idea would be to create something that could compete with home devices like the Amazon Echo Show. That's right. Amazon is really wanting to get into your kitchen and things like that as well, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And if Google's doing it and they're doing it, then maybe uh, Apple wants to do it as well. I could see this. Yeah. yeah. But, but Siri is... Eh. Look at me started on Siri. Uh-oh. Like, man, since I've been using this iPhone... And those, and those watches and stuff. It's that bad, eh? Just don't get me started on Siri. Okay. Because I got too used to assisting. I just assumed that Siri was like, I don't know, 80% of what assistant does, but it's not. Yeah. It's not. And I don't even know if Apple's still interested in it. Are they still developing it? It feels like it hasn't really evolved all that much. Hmm. I just want to know what's going on with voice, Will. Well, I'll keep using it. That Good. way uh, you're helping improve. Siri. No, I check that box off. Oh, okay. I'm not improving anything. Okay. I want to talk to my gadgets. Well, is that really too much to ask? Uh, apparently. Because I'm out there. I'm, I'm living life out there. And when you're really busy and you're moving around a lot. You just want, to, you just want answers. That's it. Yeah, voice can just be, can be so much more convenient. Intuitive. And, and and sometimes it might be the only option when you're driving and stuff. Uh -huh. So that's a big miss for me. That's making me consider on its own. It's making me consider putting the putting the iPhone. Really? Down. Wow. Oh, it's making okay. me consider it. Will. Where's your Ultra? It's making me consider it. Will. Well, no, I had to put the Ultra down because I'm testing this other device. And uh, you can't have both on. Well, I don't think. I think it's kind of insane when you have the watch and the ring at the same oh, time. Yeah, true, yeah. It's like I don't. It's like what are you trying to do? Because it there there's overlap as far as tracking is concerned. I wanted the real experience with each. You know, I've been diving deeper. Yeah. Okay. So this is the real experience. All right. You're talking about the Aura Ring. I'm talking about the Aura Ring, uh, third generation. Yeah. Right now, but there's going to be a whole thing about it coming up very soon. Okay. Apple announces spatial audio support for five Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Ooh. Apple and Mercedes-Benz today announced that native support for Apple Music's spatial audio feature with Dolby Atmos is rolling out to select Mercedes-Benz vehicles worldwide, including the Mercedes Maybach, Maybach, EQS, EQS SUV, EQE, and S-Class models. Well, they're targeting the right models, the super luxury models and the electric models, where somebody might be like, finally, spatial audio. But spatial audio in the car is kind of cool. Is it not, Will? Yeah. Very immersive. Spatial audio requires a Mercedes-Benz vehicle with a Burmester 3D or 4D sound system. Those are the top. That's the top range, Will. Those type system upgrades when you go on the line item and you check that box when you do the build, mm. that could cost as much as a like a cheap used car. Like that, that, really? Oh, let me tell you, those things are no joke. Let me tell you. Okay. But they sound great, and so here's a way that Mercedes differentiates and they encourage you to upgrade to this system because they say, well, don't you want your spatial audio in your car? And then you're already buying a Mercedes. So you're like, oh, yeah, I do. Maybe I do. Yeah, I don't mind paying $10,000 more. Maybe I, maybe I do. Maybe I'm spending $90,000, $100,000. And uh, maybe I do. What's well, another fifteen k Yeah, maybe I do. Yeah. And besides, like, for... For somebody like the average person, they're only going to order one car, unlike you. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have to worry about the other cars they have yeah, on order. Yeah, go double. You don't, have to worry. you don't have to worry about that. Where's your Tesla right now? Where is it at? Um, is it in Tennessee? Where is it at? Counting down, I think there's uh, 15 days left. 15 days? Yeah, just over two weeks. It's, like a, it's the range. So it's like October th uh, 30th to... November 15th, somewhere around there. So, uh, yeah. Are you as pumped, less pumped, same pumped, more pumped? What's your pump? I'm a little bit more pumped. More pumped? Yeah. What uh, contributes? Because I got that? some accessories. Oh, take it easy. And it's like all coming together, you know. You're such an accessory guy, you know that? I like to accessorize. I think you might like the accessories more than the actual thing. Yes. 
the way you're smiling right now. Yeah, I, I like them. Did I like you, to make it custom. Did you get yeah. the dog thing yet or no? I did, yeah. From Tesla. The official? Yeah, although <gasps> the shipping was completely... Uh, you splurged on the official one, not a third party. Well, I told you I liked it because it has the... Uh, door guard. That's big money for a blanket. I'll tell you what. It is, yeah. What, Very what, much so. You Although, pay? you know, when I we want to know what you paid in Canadian dollars for that blanket. Uh oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah, now. Yeah. You paid a couple of bucks, didn't you? <laughs> what? Um, in Canadian dollars, one hundred forty-five. I think that's U.S. Yeah. So I don't know, two hundred. Two hundred dollars for a blanket in the back seat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would say that the liner. When we were talking about it, you know how it says uh, we thought it was going to stick hair or like the hair is going to stick on it? Right. It doesn't seem like it. It seems like it's a smoother material oh, where you can just brush it off. Oh, my God. Look at you. You're unbelievable. <laughs> what? You think Otis's hair is not going to stick in there? Yeah, Where's it going to go? Yeah, Otis is different because he has like human hair. Where's it going to go? It's well, gonna... it's not going to stick into, like, the weave. Well, you, oh, yeah, yeah, you'll be able to get it off. I agree. That's what I'm saying. I agree, but it's going to be in you there. You said it was, like, so sticky. You're going to be wiping it out on a regular basis. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, listen, the things you, the things we do for our, uh, our fur balls over there. Yeah. Especially you. Like, you don't leave home without this guy. Yeah. This guy's your sidekick. Him. Everywhere I go, this guy goes in the basket in the Food. front in the front of your uh, bicycle, like ET. Yeah. Remember? He has a blanket. Wasn't there a meme? Wasn't there a meme about that? Yeah, someone yeah. drew a picture. Yeah. Shout out to that guy. Yeah. So you so the first thing you do, you you you're you're not even excited about the model three. You're excited about the blanket in the back. Yeah, and you know, mud flaps and stuff. Whoa, like whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Talk about mud flaps? Uh, yeah, I'm getting carried away. Oh my goodness gracious. And other stuff. People aren't ready. I don't want to go too far. People aren't ready for this. This version of you. The Tesla accessory version of you. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get too crazy, though. You're not going to put it overboard, are you? Well. What's overboard? Well. You're not going to put it overboard, are you? What is it? You know what it is. You're not going to You're not gonna wrap it, are you? It's going to be JDM. You're not going to wrap it, are you? No. <gasps> I don't that think so. a slow no. I've seen some really nice wraps. I'm not talking about clear. I'm talking about yeah. like a different color or like a matte, matte finish. Yeah, yeah. But the matte finish, if you don't keep that so clean, it's got that residue on it. It looks dirty. Uh huh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You gotta. So how often? And maybe somebody else can Especially chime in. in the snow. In the comments know? here with the salt. Yes. When if you have your car with a wrap on it, how often are you? cleaning it that's what i want to know to keep it looking half decent but yeah no wrap for me maybe ppf yeah i guess I, I guess that counts to a certain extent yeah i have a place to go if you want to do that yeah did i already say that <laughs> oh okay okay uh this is cool yeah spatial audio i'll take it better integration mo just peeked in here and then closed the door mo you're welcome whatever you want to do man whatever you want to do there you go there's mo he decided to come in he heard me from the other side of the door he peeked, and there he is. And there he goes. There he is, and there he goes. Or do you want to say something? I'll say hi. Oh, okay, here he comes. Uh, hey, give, you know what? Actually, um, uh -oh. tell, them, tell them that joke you told me before. <laughs> you did this with Jack yesterday. <laughs> or I saw you. I'm not going to fall for it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Mo. Yeah. Dude, shut him down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody hates that. Tell me that. That's why you should know. On the spot, well, there's like somebody two should, cameras on Somebody you. should know a couple of jokes that they can they can bring at any moment. Because mm -hmm. that can save you in a certain situation. Even if it's a bad joke, like so bad that it's good type of joke. You know, in the, in the sense that it's like, uh, but um like a stupid joke i like mo's because uh i feel like even if it's a bad joke mm -hmm. you're gonna really shut them down <laughs> me you no, yeah. no no no. i celebrate i celebrate sure bud uh elon musk says spacex will let people donate money to fund starlink for places in need of internet i saw this it started a guy he was on there and he said hey i want to donate some of these over to uganda mm -hmm. and then elon was like okay 
And he very quickly determined that he should have some sort of formal way on the website of actually donating uh, Starlink. Mm. Of course, he was going back and forth with Ukraine and Biden and whoever else about the funding of the current setup they have going on, burning through $20 million a month to maintain Starlink in Ukraine. $20 million a month is not zero. So that definitely, holy, I mean... It's a big bill at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so the billionaire's comments were in response to a tweet from Ham, Ham Serenjogi, Serenjogi, CEO of fintech Chipper Cash, who said he'd be willing to donate Starlink to schools and hospitals in Uganda. And then Musk replied saying, are there others that want to do the same thing? Six minutes after posting the post gained thousands of likes and Musk tweeted again saying, okay, we will add a donate option. To Starlink, I, I'm, I'm sure he's not surprised that he got all this interaction. He pretty much always does. And in this case, this seems like a thing that people would want to do. Um, plans for Starlink donations uh, came after some of the conversation around. He was looking for funding for the $20 million a month in, uh, in Ukraine. CNN report on Thursday, SpaceX asked the Pentagon to take over paying for Starlink in Ukraine because the company couldn't afford it. SpaceX projected in the September letter. To the Pentagon that running Starlink in Ukraine would cost more than $120 million for the rest of 2022 and nearly $400 million over the next year. Good Lord. Nearly $400 million. Yeah, half a, wow. half a billion almost. Um, well, I don't know what, how, if they made, if they got anywhere with that, with trying to get funding from the government, but he came back and then said, screw it, I'll just keep doing it for now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's forever, but for now, I'll keep doing it. So maybe if people click the donate button, they can donate to Ukraine and then maybe mm -hmm. take some of the heat off. I don't know what the donate button is going to look like, uh, but, but maybe there'll be a Ukraine option, which just goes towards the funding of what they're already sending. For sure. Yeah. What is this about? Why is he pointing, pointing at Kanye? Yeah, I guess so. Is that the latest? They're, they're tight. 59 minutes ago. Wait for it. And they're touching. It's oh. like a Dragon Ball Z reference. Oh, and then he's got Twitter on his chest. And the other guy Parler. has Parler because Kanye is buying Parler. Yeah. Is you that right? get to it? I have it as a. I mean, story. just considering the fact that you showed me this meme and then Elon says fun times ahead. I mean, Elon <laughs> posted a meme. Yeah. Is he saying they're going to join, join the two of them together? Twitter and Parler? Um. I think that's what it means. That's what the meme is. It's like when they do that. What happens in, in Dragon Ball Z? What happens after they this? They form into one person, and then it's like they're literally the same people, the same person. But what would I do without you, Will? Yeah, you know. Uh, what would I do? Like I'd just be looking at this thing, if wondering want, why uh, they're touching fingertips. DBZ reference. Yeah, I need to know I'm these. Things. I need to know these things. But the last time I brought up the reference, you looked at me sideways, like, "Don't you dare ask me for a reference." Uh, when we had the Hummer over there. You were like, don't, don't you dare oh, imply don't. that Super I know Saiyan? that I know anything about Dragon Ball Z. Don't ever imply that. Well, you know, I, I need to just get with the times. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Accept my oh. fate. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's like a dark turn. Not sure. Whatever, whatever works for you. Yeah. Uh, Google Pixel 7 Pro utterly disappoints in real world gaming test. Yikes. When you see the word utterly, sounds terrible, doesn't uh -huh. it? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's no good. Google Pixel 7 Pro has now been put through a Genshin Impact gaming test in an attempt to see just how well Google's Tensor G2 chip performs. Results are damning and pose the new Pixel 7 phones as inadequate for gaming purposes. Inadequate? Damn! Uh, tested by Golden Reviewer, Pixel 7 Pro fails to match up to even 2021 flagships with Snapdragon Triple Eight, and also somehow manages to be worse than the Poco F3 with its Snapdragon 870. Is this a compatibility thing? I think maybe they're still working with the Tensor chip and trying to do more Optimize tests. it? Yeah. The Google flagship achieves an average frame rate of 37.2 FPS. Comparatively, the iPhone 14 Pro Max averages 58.4. Xiaomi 12S Ultra, 57.7. And Dimensity 9000 powered Redmi K50 Pro, 52.9. The aforementioned Poco F3, 46.5. So they're saying you can spend a lot less money than the Pixel 7 Pro and get more frames in Genshin Impact. Uh, and then it also is using too much battery, apparently. Damn. You don't want this thing for gaming 
right now. Well, it does say right there, right now at least. So I think there's probably some improvements to be made here. That it may not sit at this performance forever. It could be compatibility related. However, people buy a phone right now to play games right now, Well, And that Genshin Impact title, I don't know anything about it, but the people, they love it. It's a demanding game, I heard. The people, they love the game. Mm. They're playing the game. Yeah. So if uh, that's what you're in the market for right now, you're going to have to look elsewhere, I guess. You're going to want some more frames. And the Pixel 7 Pro is not a cheap phone. No. However, you're like super excited about this because you want to snap all these photos. Mm -hmm. You got all these plans. Yeah. But you want me to say it? Or? No, no. You don't have to say anything about your plans. I just, you're excited to test the camera on there. Uh, yeah. I because am. I think there's still like an intuition that that somehow Pixel, their special the special pixel sauce is 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 different than what's happening elsewhere in mm -hmm. computational photography and you always want to see what the approach is and how it compares yeah definitely and i gotta say that i'm i'm still using the nothing phone right uh the phone is or the camera is really bad <gasps> i have to say it's really gasp bad. would you say it's utterly disappointing i wouldn't say that oh okay, okay i okay. wouldn't go too far oh okay um but it's right. it's not it's not that great. Well, probably your expectations are a bit different on a phone like that from yeah, a sure. new yeah, brand yeah. and a different price point and everything like that. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see what you think of the Pixel because you're, this is happening really soon. That you can put it through the paces. Yeah. And you'll um, report back to us. Yeah, and I'll post it on Twitter. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. You know? This is big moves right here. Mm. I love it. You can take pictures of all your Tesla accessories. Okay, yeah. All your $200 blankets. All right. With the Tesla badge on it. Yeah. Spots got permissions to dance. Check out this dance created for the BTS yet to come in Busan concert with Hyundai. I'm not even... Don't play the music. Yeah. Ooh, Spot's looking good. I miss Spot. We had Spot over here. Without that arm, that arm is even cooler, looking like a dinosaur. Uh-huh. So they did great lighting too. Oh, yeah. So they did one of these dance sequences with one, two, three, four, five, six spot units and if you don't know spot that's the boston dynamics commercially available robot tremendous articulation control uh still one of my, the favorite my favorite videos we've ever made on the channel and yeah. this is in sponsorship with hyundai that's the other what is that atlas made an appearance yeah. boston dynamics atlas the bipedal that's right and it was a it was a, a short glimpse with him but, uh, yeah, the, the ability to coordinate the movements of these things, very cool. I mean, what do you need BTS for? That was a joke. <laughs> well, they got to go to the military. Someone's got to fill in for them, right, Will? I think that's the joke. Is it a joke? Because there's seven of them, right? And there's seven of these. Well, no, because... I know, but they are, I think they're just saying, well, I don't know what they're saying exactly, but no. my, my joke took it a step further with the military aspect. Yeah. I think people are kind of surprised by that. I clicked on trending, and they're like, yes. All they're going. They're all going to the, the mil time. military in the army now. All of them. It's like Polly Shore. <laughs> what he went to the military? <laughs> it was a movie in the nineties called In the Army Now. It was shortly after oh. Biodome. Oh right, okay. And yeah, I don't know. You're you're the same age as me, so don't you know? It's not like yeah, I must have missed that one. Oh, you definitely miss that. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But you'd be surprised. He was making money because yeah. if you look at this, the box office. He was killing it. If you look at the box office versus what the movies were costing to make, you might be surprised. I'm just saying. Yeah. Anyway, this is cool. Way to go, Spot. Way to go, Boston Dynamics. Way to go, Hyundai. Oh, Hyundai bought Boston Dynamics. Yes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Well, you gotta give That's me these a great details. performance. You gotta give me these details. Well, I highlighted it. You gotta give me these details, Well. Uh, oh, Uber Eats is now going to add weed delivery to the app in Toronto. Specifically, I thought this was kind of cool. Specifically, Toronto. Well, I guess uh, uh, cannabis is edible, but it is not your typical thing you'd have delivered by Uber Eats. You know, I got I got a new phone number recently, and my God, my I'm getting all like these automated text messages from all the the uh, weed delivery services. Oh, because whoever had the number before me. Huh. I guess was just ordering weed all the time. Uh, 
Because it's, it's all they're like, hey, new deal, whatever, whatever. And he signed up, I guess, to all these SMS things. And I'm oh, trying geez. to get removed, but you took someone's number. Well, you're if you, dude, you'd get a four one six in 2022. You took somebody's number. That's rare. Yeah, yeah. you took somebody's number. Yeah. So I was kind of surprised by it. And this this happens frequently, by the way. They're recycling numbers. Somebody doesn't pay their bill, comes up mm. for grabs. There you go. Uh, Torontonian stoners age 19 years and older can begin purchasing cannabis via Uber Eats today. They show the guy, Uber Eats delivery courier. Uh, food delivery services partnered, oh, it's a partnership with Leafly, which was already an online marijuana retailer, to connect customers with local dispensaries. The dispensaries are just blown up everywhere. Mm, yeah. Every other store on you, the street. You got more dispensaries than coffee shops. For sure you do. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's feasible, sustainable. I'm not sure, but everyone's pumped up about it right now. There's your nothing phone making noise. Yeah, that's my uh, Uber Eats delivery. There it is. <laughs> According to Leafly, this is the first time marijuana delivery is available on a third-party food ordering platform like Uber Eats. Well, I guess you could probably get some food and... Yeah, that's the perfect I guess you I could guess, have, because right? cause you... I don't know if Uber Eats does it, but DoorDash, huh? I can... They'll give you this prompt. You order from one place and they'll be like you want us to pick up anything from this other place while we're at it like the convenience store or something hmm. it will prompt you be like you have seven minutes to decide if you need anything from the convenience store while we're on our way hmm. they'll do a second stop so i just wonder how that integrates with uber I'm, I'm less familiar with it um but yeah i guess that's a big deal to be, people uber eats has a huge install base of users yeah already i wonder if the fees and everything will be similar or different it's not clear when or if this partnership will expand to the rest of Canada or even the United States, but Uber says it has no formal plans to expand this particular offering to customers in the U.S. as the legality of cannabis consumption varies heavily from state to state. Mm. Well, I think it varies. Yeah. Uh, quite a bit, like to the extent that it totally wouldn't be possible in some places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh, 20 years of top trending Google searches. Is this, are we going to visualize something right now? Yeah, you might like this one. Are we going to visualize something? Mm -hmm. I'll sign up for that. I love this type of stuff. This is from Visual Capitalist. From 2001 to 2021, a look back at the top trending. <gasps> wow, 2001 feels so long ago when you showed me Britney Spears, Napster, and Osama Bin Laden. Good Lord. Yeah, it feels right. a long time ago. Uh, Nokia, at the start of the 21st century, was the top-selling brand in the mobile phone market. Get out of here. I had that phone, by the way. Snake, play Snake. Windows XP, Shrek, Harry Potter. It's funny. Some of these things feel older than others, you know? Like mm. when you look at that chart right there, what thing feels the oldest? For me, it's the cell phone for sure. Cell phone. And yeah. Windows XP. Yeah. And Napster. Uh, Shrek is still kicking because of the memes. That's what I mean. Like Shrek Harry is still Potter's there. Still Potter is there. Is yeah, Bin Laden still there? Uh, as far as cultural references, less so. Yeah. Britney Spears is hanging in there. Uh, this was a, a big year in 2001. Released the third studio album and performed I'm a Slave for You live with a python. Whoa. In an iconic MTV VMAs performance. That's when everybody would be watching yeah. those type of shows <laughs> at the same time. On the TV. What else we got over there? Well, is this all part of 2001? Oh, we're going to go to 2002. And what do we have here? SMS technology comes out. Oh, stop it. Anna Kornikova, a uh, tennis player. She was that big? I don't know. I guess. Yeah. Uh, Eminem, The Simpsons, David Beckham, The Sims, and Linux. Oh, and Iraq, obviously. Yeah. Iraq War. Uh, 2003, we got Kobe, Dragon Ball Z. Well, you're doubling up on the reference now? Nice. Sailor Moon. I remember Sailor Moon. Um, 50 Cent in, in the club. Oh, what was another big hit off that off that record? Uh, uh, Britney Spears is still kicking, still there, crushing it. Iraq was there as well. Wangsta? That might have been on there. <laughs> I don't know. It was a big record. Get Rich or Die Trying, that was a big record. Sold a bunch of those. 2004, MapQuest. Shut up. You print it out. iPod. You print it out. You're about to go somewhere, you print it out because your phone's not going to show you the map. Yeah. Janet Jackson, you remember the Super Bowl uh, uh -huh. situation. You got big George Bush, you got a big Saddam Hussein. And the Ugg boots start to 
uh, become a thing. Never mind, the iPod is there. And mm-hmm. eBay, I was goofing with eBay back then. 2005, you move up to the uh, the Mini. Janet Jackson's still going. Damn, two years worth. Mm-hmm. Brad Pitt is in there. Now we got the Xbox 360, and you had a big hurricane by the name of Katrina. Mm-hmm. 2006, MySpace. Oh, the beginning of the end. Social media. The right. beginning of the end. This is when it begins. 2006, MySpace, podcasting, and Paris Hilton, and Web 2.0. We're dead. We're dead. That's the end. Mm-hmm. Um, you go to 2007, and you start to see Rihanna. Oh, there's the iPhone. Now we're really dead. There's YouTube as well. We're really dead now. Yeah. Borat. <laughs> 2008, Obama, Palin. Facebook bailout. Oh, uh, economic Have downfall. You Lost. Yeah, I saw some of Lost. A They're bit. just on the yeah, island. They're looking just this walking around and. And you know what I mean? Still walking. Yeah, they're just lost out there. I remember that. 2009, uh, Michael Jackson. Was that when he died? Uh, I, might, I might be wrong about that. I don't know. Mm. Uh, the VMAs. Twitter was fastest rising. And the, the food and drink, acai. Twilight movie. Uh, Katy Perry, Justin Bieber were 2010. Netflix comes out in 2010. iPhone 4S plus the... Uh, Steve Jobs still training. That's crazy. It's not that, you know, 2010. iPad. 2010 is 12 years ago. Well. Yeah. 2011, Fukushima. Rebecca Black, fastest rising. Man, you could take over the whole internet at that moment just with a, like a meme, essentially. Uh Uh-huh. Which is pretty wild. Um, We got Michael Phelps in 2012. We got Gangnam Style in 2012. Oh, yeah. Gangnam style. You had Jeremy Lin was taking over the NBA in 2012 as well. 2013, Nelson Mandela, Paul Walker, Tesla starts to show up. And Vine was a big deal. 2014, Jeffrey Lawrence, Kim Kardashian, Serial Podcast, Ice Bucket Challenge. Remember Flappy Bird? I remember Flappy Bird, dude. (laughs) Yeah. All right, let's go all the way up to 2022 and see where we're at right now. 2022 what's what's the world made up of oh 2021 is the latest we can do 2021 is afghanistan alec baldwin kyle rittenhouse tiktok pasta dogecoin covid ethereum gme amc squid game olivia rodrigo t20 world cup did i already say afghanistan all right Mm -hmm. i'm surprised there's no crypto there's Ethereum right down there in the bottom. Ethereum. Yeah. No nope. Bitcoin. Oh, there's Dogecoin. Well. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. 2021. I don't know what 2022 is going to say, but yeah. Better days, Will. Mm-hmm. All right, last one. Kanye West agrees to buy social media app Parler. I, so he went on Drink Champs. I didn't, I haven't listened to it yet. I don't know if there was any talk of Parler in that interview. Was there? Um, I'm like, uh, there's like five minutes left. Mm. I don't know if there's, he's going to. All right. Well, never mind. It doesn't, whatever. Uh, apparently this is like a done deal. This just blindsided me on Twitter that Mm. this is happening for sure. Parler is a social media app. I've never even been on Parler. Yeah. Free speech. Free speech, social media app, but like it's, but not the Trump one. No. This is one. Social. That was a true social parlor. I don't know who's in charge. Parlor's an American alt tech social networking service associated with conservatives. Journalists have described Parlor as an alt tech alternative. Alt tech alternative to Twitter. Vin's on there. And users include those banned from mainstream social networks yeah. or who oppose their moderation policy. So it's like we accept anybody. Apparently they have yeah. seven hundred thousand to a million active users as of January twenty twenty two. And uh, 20 million as of January 2021. So they they lost a lot of users. I guess it was hot for a minute, and then it went anyway. Right. 30 employees, if you're wondering about the scope of the company, at least that's what uh, Wikipedia is telling us. And because he was recently banned, right? Or at least suspended. Yeah. So... 
I mean, this is this seems to be what happens when somebody really um, popular has an issue with the mainstream social media platforms. They try to do something else. Mm -hmm. American rapper Kanye West, who now goes by Ye, has agreed in principle to buy Parler, the social media platform popular amongst uh, U.S. conservatives. Parent company Parliament Technologies said on Monday, Nashville-based Parler, which has raised about $56 million to date, said it expects the deal to close during the fourth quarter of 2022. It did not give a deal value. Parler, which launched in 2018, has been reinstated on Google and Apple Inc.'s app stores after being removed following the U.S. Capitol riots in January of 2021. Parler is one of several social media platforms, including Getter, Gab, and Truth Social, that position themselves as free speech alternatives to Twitter. Well, now that brings in the significance of Elon's meme that he tweeted, suggesting that there would be a collaboration between these brands once he figures out the purchase of Twitter, which... Like, well, I mean, if you want to take this, if you want, depending on how much you want to read into a meme, which is up to you. Um, what, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Kanye, I don't really know what Kanye's agenda is right now. It's really hard to determine what it is, like, in, like with any degree of detail or, or, or it's just not, it's, he, he's doing a lot of interviews and he's publicizing his views and his opinions very controversial. But it, but it seems almost like uh, setting himself up for some political agenda or political career. Well, that's what he that wants in 2024. He wants to be president. Okay. So if that's the case, then then uh, I get it. Yeah. Go buy a social media platform with a bunch of conservatives and, and rally around that and yeah. possibly partner with Elon to, I don't know, even br bring the platform. Like, what is the purpose of the platform? Let's say if, if Twitter opens things up remove certain bans mm. and has a less strict moderation policy then some of these other platforms don't really need to be there i don't think right because that's what they're positioned as so it's a curious it's a curious one from a an economic perspective Th these these other platforms can kind of have a user base so long as their policies are different from the main ones Mm -hmm. But if the main ones change their policies, then you kind of wonder what exactly goes down. But maybe Twitter just buys Parler in that scenario from Kanye. Maybe that's what the meme means. I don't know, Will. It's a lot of questions, a lack of answers. I don't think we're going to have answers on the Kanye topic for a while. Um, yeah. But I don't think it's uh, – I think there is more to learn for sure. And uh, Yeah, keep it locked here <laughs> yeah, well, for more Kanye news. <laughs> Well, if, if Will had his way, it'd be probably yeah. 10 tabs up there. But anyway, uh, maybe I'll catch some of the Drink Champs ones, see what's, see what's going on. Try to uh, try to decipher. Uh, or the, or your, your sigh right there kind of led yeah. me to believe that I shouldn't even do that. But Yeah, it's it's a tough listen. Well, listen, if he's bu buying these... Uh, these companies you kind of you can't help but be curious what the sure. uh, what, what the motivation is uh -huh. um, my thing about it is it's like if you have a point of view that you're trying to share you know you obviously it's been referenced before you get this this like echo chamber effect of doing it in places where only those people exist like-minded individuals who are gonna support everything that comes out of your mouth and then you have these other platforms where you have differing viewpoints and obviously we know where that leads to that can become just a complete mess as well but maybe in certain circumstances individuals rub off on each other and find some sort of middle ground maybe yeah so i'm i'm generally more for the idea of discourse happening in a place where there are opposing viewpoints of course yeah i agree anyway yeah. thank you very much for joining here today um we'll be back before you know it mm -hmm. And we'll see you later. Mm.